Welcome back to my next devotion in my Armor of God devotions. Today we focus on the breastplate of righteousness. For this breastplate of righteousness, we'll focus on another superhero. This superhero is not quite as famous as, you know, Batman and his utility belt that we talked about last week. This superhero, however, has become quite famous in the last 10 years. Today we talk about, in my opinion, the greatest superhero. Today we talk about Iron Man. So why does Iron Man represent this breastplate of righteousness? I mean, if you think about it, Iron Man is wearing a full suit of armor. That could be a good picture for the entire armor of God. But I think it is good to use him to talk about the breastplate of righteousness. And the reason I think this is because of how Iron Man started. The man under the armor is a man named Tony Stark. He became Iron Man because his heart was injured. A bomb exploded near him and sharp metal pieces damaged his heart. He needed a powerful magnet put into his chest to prevent those metal pieces from further damaging him and killing him. After his injury, he changed. He had a change of heart. Before his injury, before the metal in his, in his heart, he wasn't a very good person. He was very selfish and he was greedy. But after his injury, he changed. He wanted to use his abilities to help others. He built that suit of armor and he became a great superhero. That change of heart idea makes me think about our faith in Christ. Our faith in Christ is a change of heart. Before faith, we were born sinners in this world. And because of our sin, we were not good people. We were selfish. We did things to help ourselves. And, you know, that's really what many of our sins are. They do things to help us. Even if we do things that are maybe nice once in a while, it's probably for a motivation to do something that we get out of it, to help ourselves. So there's a lot of selfish motivation. We need a change of heart that can only be worked through faith. For many of us, this happens at our baptism. The baptism is a washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. Through that, we are connected to Jesus and the forgiveness that he won on the cross. Jesus saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. We were sinners. We were not doing good things. We needed God's love, and because of God's love, he saved us through Christ. Tony Stark, Iron Man, was changed when his heart was, heart was injured. It's not that he, before that, wanted to become a better person. He really didn't. But when he was injured, when his heart was injured, he got a new special heart and he changed. He became better. The breastplate of righteousness is given to us as Christians. The breastplate goes over the heart. In Christ, our sinful hearts are made clean. Jesus dwells in us and we have his righteousness. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says it well. God made Jesus, who did not know sin, to be sin for us, so that in him we might be the righteousness of God. Now that we have this righteousness of Jesus, we are encouraged to help others. The best way that we can help them, of course, is by sharing the love of Jesus so that they too can have the righteousness of Christ, this breastplate of righteousness that we have. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the, the change of heart you worked in us when you brought us to faith. Help us to live in this righteousness of Christ that we have because he paid for our sins on the cross. Help us to serve others by sharing your love so that they too may have the breastplate of righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.